capable of, of actually scoring in the 17 point range, which is which is just gigantic. She did 17.05 on the first day and well deserved. And you know, when you're watching this set, you really need to just sit back and enjoy it because this this event is all about the lines and hitting your perfect handstand positions. And this is textbook material right here. This is what all the gymnasts need to be watching, how bars is done right here. But the thing that really sets her apart is that skills come one after another, big skills. She doesn't have a lot of filler at all. Coming up right here, she's gonna do a full spin, and now it's really wild. Right here, she'll do a full and a half turn right here into a release. It just never stops. Damn. Now tell me this doesn't look like someone playing on a, a playground. Just flying around. Speaking of flying, she's going to fly down to the low bar. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful <laughs> execution. And the whole time, those ankles are glued together. And trust me, that is not an easy thing to do throughout this very difficult set. Just the dismount. Routine after routine. Oh! Oh, baby. That was close. Can anyone else in the world do that? No, no. I, I do not believe that anybody can do that. The combinations of skills that she is able to do, and, and beyond that, it is exhausting. Yeah. If you took a top-level gymnast and asked them to do half of this, they, they wouldn't be able to do it. But watch this. Beautiful spinning on one arm. These are high-level skills. And it's not just how hard it is, but how well she does it. Watch this release, done in combination, perfect form when she grabs together. And like Tim mentioned, it, it really is exhausting from start to finish, and it's a very difficult dismount. This was the only area in the first day of competition where she took a slight step. This one, a little more severe, almost, almost touches both knees on the ground. It's going to be very interesting, 17.05 on night one. Well, it shouldn't get that because that dismount they, she, there's a lot of deduction. She has the step, but it's more than just that. Watch how much she squats down to the floor and her chest on her legs like that. If they evaluate, and you see Dad right there. If the Hilary, judges want, they can take five tenths. They can. Back in your time, Tim, I know we're going back to black and white <laughs> video here. Did you have the same feeling for the Olympics that exists now? Was it the Olympics and then everything else or not? Absolutely. And, and, I mean, from, from the time that you, that you really start competing and you get that feeling, it, it's the only thing you're thinking about. Yeah, there are great steps along the way. But if I, if I was ten times as successful in the other meets and didn't go to, to, to the Olympic Games, it, it would have been horrific. And making that Olympic team is definitely on this young lady's mind. Sam has improved a lot on the uneven bars. Her consistency looking a lot better. And, and you know, she really wants to prove to Marta that she's an all-around gymnast. She said, yes, I can vault, I can do floor, my beam is improving, but if you need me in a pinch, I'm there for you on bars. Her. Yeah, only one hiccup that last tumbling pass on floor, but... Good job. Good job. Wow. Peter Jower, coach. 